A ductless mini-split heat pump can heat and cool your home with solid energy efficiency. A mini-split is ideal when you have limited space in which to work or the location to be cooled and heated lacks sufficient room for duct work. Also, with a heat pump, you can achieve solid energy efficiencies that will save money. A basic mini-split is rated with at least a 13 Seasonal Energy Efficiency Rating, or SEER, and some models can reach even higher SEERs. These units provide effective air comfort where you need them to while maintaining low energy consumption. You probably have many questions about a ductless mini-split heat pump and how it works. First, the system is called a split because it consists of two units, the indoor air handler and the exterior condenser. The two components of the system are connected via tubing that allows the necessary refrigerant to travel throughout the system and there is a condensate drain leading from the air handler to outside the building where gathered moisture can be safely expelled. Most ductless mini-split heat pumps are composed of the same basic parts. The system will include an air handler as part of the interior system, a compressor installed in the outdoor unit, a thermostat, and the pieces of the install kit. Make sure you have all the parts you need according to the installation manual. Also, it is important to inspect the various components to ensure there are no defects before installation work begins. Before you get started installing, be certain you have fully read the installation manual and you have the right tools to do the job. You will need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, 4 mm hex wrench, bubble level, tape measure, core drill and bit of appropriate size. If you lack anything you need, then don't start the job and get the tools. Some unit installations will also require other specialized tools and equipment. Refer to the installation instructions and assemble all tools and equipment before beginning. A ductless mini-split heat pump is not the most difficult HVAC system to install, but it is not something to take lightly. Proper installation is key for achieving the best energy efficiency the unit can produce. By design, installation of the interior unit of a mini-split is relatively simplified. The most difficult electrical work is already done and housed safely within the system. What is required is properly mounting the unit itself on a wall and then running the various connections to the outdoor unit. Start by removing the wall mount from the back of the mini-split interior unit. Then, pick out a spot on the wall surface where you want the unit to be secured. After you have decided, use a level to mark out drill points and secure the wall mount according to the instructions. You will have to drill holes that are level with one another. Through this process, be sure you have marked the area so that you know where you're going to drill. Measure twice, cut once. It's a carpenter's rule and it works here. For us, we want to measure twice and drill each hole once. One thing our interior walls do not need are unnecessary holes. After you have measured, drilled, and installed the wall bracket, make sure the latch points are secure. The last thing you want is for the mini split to tumble off the wall. Once the wall mount is ready, carefully unfold the refrigerant pipe, making sure not to damage the tube in the process. Next, drill the hole for condensate drainage, making sure to angle the hole slightly downward so gravity can do its job. It is important to note that you are going to combine the condensate tube, refrigerant line, and conduit wire in the same bundle, so you only have to have one hole going through your wall. Secure these together using tape, and make sure the bundle is tightly packed to reduce needed space and making running them through the wall easier. Be careful not to damage the components in this process. Now, once the wall mount is ready, the condensate tube is attached, the refrigerant line is secure, plugs are installed, and the electrical cable has been run through, you are ready to mount the interior unit on the wall. Lift the unit into place, making sure that the tube, line, cable combination pushes smoothly through the opening you drilled. After attachment to the wall mount, the interior unit should be firmly secure and your refrigerant line, condensate tube, and electrical cables should be run through the wall. It is time to install the outdoor unit. On a mini-split heat pump, the outdoor unit is composed of a condenser, efficient compressor, and installation kit. Before beginning, you will need to decide how you want to place the outdoor unit. You can put it on a pad, mount it on an exterior wall, or place it on a rooftop. Wherever you decide to place your outdoor unit, always remember to make sure it is properly secured before you make any connections between the interior and outdoor systems. 
For this video, we will be installing the outdoor unit on a pad. When the outdoor unit is properly placed on the pad and anchored, you may remove the flare nuts from the surface valves. If you are using prefabricated line sets, then the flare nuts may be discarded. But if not, they may be flared onto the lines that will be connected to the system. Before you start doing any cutting, you need to make sure all the pieces are ready and you need to consider the proper tubing configuration. If the condenser is mounted higher than the air handler, you must ensure that there will be proper oil returned to the compressor. You will need an inverted trap immediately exiting the condenser unit and additional oil traps for every 16 feet of vertical pipe run. With those requirements met, you are ready to cut. After you cut the copper tubing, be sure to clean the interior of the tube so there are no fragments remaining inside from the cutting process. Excess material left over may cause corrosion. Also, cut carefully so you do not dent the copper tubing. Next, connect the refrigerant tubing to the condenser. Tighten the flare nuts to the torque specifications according to the installation manual. Do not over tighten the nuts. With that accomplished, it is time to prepare for a future leak check on the system. You will pressurize the system, usually with nitrogen, according to installation specifications, and then wire the unit before performing the final leak check. Before you do any wiring, make sure the power is off. This cannot be stressed enough. Remove the cover on the outdoor unit for electrical wiring and set it to the side along with the screws, since we will be replacing the cover once we are done. Connect the low voltage wires first, making sure to do so according to any applicable electrical codes and safety considerations. With the outdoor unit connected, it is time to go back inside and connect the low voltage wiring to the interior unit. Again, do so in accordance with electrical codes. After making certain the outdoor unit is properly grounded, connect the high voltage wires and reattach the protective covering. The system should already be pressurized properly. Apply a bubble solution to all flare connections. This will help you identify any leaks in the system. Confirm there are no leaks and then purge the pressurized gas from the system. Next, evacuate the system to ensure there are no further leaks. If the condensing unit does not properly evacuate, then there are leaks and they must be repaired before any refrigerant is pumped into the system. When you have confirmed there are no leaks, open the refrigerant valves on the condenser. It is time for initial startup. Make sure everything is properly connected and grounded according to the installation manual. Double check to make sure. Now activate the power and move inside. Use the remote control to activate the system. With the system active, it is time to make sure the refrigerant charge is properly balanced. Once that's accomplished in accordance with EPA guidelines, go back inside and set a cooling temperature. With a heat pump, you will also want to check that the unit is also producing the correct amount of heat. With all the pieces of the mini split system installed properly, the unit is now ready to begin sustained operation. We carry a full line of ductless mini split units from 13 to 30 SEER. We offer free lifetime technical support and 24 seven phone service. Feel free to call us with any questions at 855 Ingrams or 1-800-360-1569. Visit betterwayac.com for more information on ductless mini split heat pumps and air conditioners.